and thank you for joining the Implementing Best Practices Strategies Across Your Enterprise demonstration. My name is Mark Sinizic, and I'm the Product Manager for the APM Strategy Product Line. In this demo, we'll be taking a closer look at how to implement best practices across your organization when it comes to strategies to be more efficient and to have control over certain elements of the strategy when it comes to assets across your enterprise. So when we apply these asset strategies, the benefits are being consistently applied across. We're gaining efficiencies by leveraging asset strategy templates as either a copy or a master. We're also enabling bulk application, management, and approval workflows, and obviously enforcing and controlling standardization of approved maintenance and monitoring programs across our asset collection. As we look in the APM application, we're going to open up an existing asset criticality analysis. And in this analysis, we've assessed multiple pieces of equipment. We can see the breakdown of how that criticality is uh, structured across this particular collection of 234 assets. In this example, I'm going to look for individual assets that I know I want to apply a template to. And in this case, I'm going to look for my high critical pumps. In this example, I can see that I've got multiple pumps in this collection. And here I've got six different high critical pumps that have been displayed. And so I'm going to actually select these six. And I'm going to go to uh, send to functionality. I'm going to select asset strategy. I have two options here. I can generate asset strategies for each one of these assets if I want to. But the other thing I have is the ability to apply a template. And when I think about these individual assets, it could be I have a template for my really critical assets of a particular type. I could have a template that may be for more my medium criticals or even my lows. Or I could have a generic template that I could apply across and either control them as a master, or I could have them decoupled and be independent strategies that can be managed uh, independently from the master. So I'm going to select this centrifugal pump template. And in this example, uh, in the next selection screen, in the application method, of course, I have that option to choose as a copy or as a master. In this example, I'm just going to choose a copy. I'm going to apply the actions and risks from the template. And I'm going to mark any existing items for deletion. It gives me a quick summary of which assets I'm applying to just to make sure I've selected and confident of my selections. And I'm going to select finish. And as you can see, the status is running in the background. So I can continue work as a user. So the transaction is completed. The templates have been applied. And if I go back and look at each one of these individual pumps, I can see that the strategies exist. And I'm going to go ahead and open those. And we're going to take a look at the actions and risks that were actually applied during the process. So in this example, I applied eight different risks that were from the template to this particular asset. And in here, I've also got seven different mitigating actions, depending on which risk each one of these activities is mitigating. So I've quickly gone through and applied this as a copy to these individual pieces of equipment. The other thing that's really nice is I don't have to be able to be inside a single analysis to be able to utilize this functionality. From the ACA overview page, you can actually go and see a list of assets that exist at this level of the hierarchy and below. And in this example, I may want to go and select other pumps. You can see these were in the demo ACA that I was just demoing, but these are not. I still have the same functionality. And based on criticality, I could go and apply across different analyses that exist out there. And I could go through the process in this case of applying, for example, this as a master. And we'll see what that looks like. 
So I'm going to apply this template as a master. I'm going to click the finish button. And you can see the transaction is running. And the transaction has been completed. So I'm going to go back and look at the pumps. It's created strategies for these. And if I go and take a look at these strategies, I can see that these are controlled by a master template. And I don't have the ability to modify at this level. I can't add risks, modify risks, can't add actions or modify actions. That can only be done at the master template level. So let's open up the template and see here that this template is controlling the four uh, assets that I had selected in the previous transaction, as well as an additional one. So the efficiency here is pretty significant and the ability to leverage templates to, again, implement best practices and maintenance programs across your enterprise is significant. Thanks for watching.